is the home for the healthcare. What we plan to be doing is that if there is any latest information, as soon as I pass it to Johnson, Johnson will put it here and we would have up to 10. And I was watching a video that tells me the five top countries with visa entry. UK was number four. So I know people that are really keen on Canada and that confirms your reasons. So Canada is top. Australia is a good place to go. It's quite far. Australia is near and New Zealand are on the same in the same continent. So they are quite far, but they are very good and they are all English speaking plus UK. So all these four countries are English speaking. Germany is a place for those that are doing STEM. So we could be looking at that as an option, but language is always a barrier. So I tend not to support people going to places where they are not speaking English. So you become a third class citizen. Though I was born in the Britain, in Britain, but I still feel like a second class because of my accent. I have a Nigerian accent. So I still feel like a second class citizen here. So if you're going to a place where you are black and then you can't speak the language, so you are really third class and that would disadvantage you in some reason, in some ways. But I support any opportunity for people to get out of Nigeria, even if they have to go to Germany, but it has to be for the right reasons. So if you get a job and we get you, you were able to get a job, then I support you going to Germany. Now, this second bit here is allows you, it's a website that you can go to where you can put all the things that are important to you and it will tell you the countries as they are important in different or in the so if you put that you want family friendly country so you will put all the family friendly countries at the top of the list and if you just want job opportunities it will put so you are able to go through some uh, matrix there and it will be able to rank all those countries for you so that's what this is meant for so we'll be putting things here at the moment we only put two because we just added this today. It will be up to 10 that will be there. And then when it's 10, the one at the top we go because it will go into another part of the page. So I'm going to go back to, let me just see if I go to. So now these are the things, skill worker visa. So it's telling you all you need to know that people need to get a skill worker. Now, if you really are serious about leaving Nigeria, you should be trying to understand this so that you can be helping each other. Healthcare worker visa, it tells you about that. Now, UK point-based immigration system. So you should read because some of you have other skills and you can see whether you are entitled to, you could be getting into other routes. Why we're doing the healthcare as a backup that if I don't get through my own route, route I can get into this Route as well because I speak to some of you using routes. I'm now saying routes like Americans. We call it route in the UK. So so you can go through the healthcare route or your preferred route. Registered of license sponsor. These are organization that can take you in. So healthcare companies can take you in. So those that have homes. So we'll be getting into that much closer to when you have done all some of the um, some of the training that you're supposed to do. Skilled occupation, this is a list of jobs that they require in the UK. Then this explains what certificate of sponsorship is. So when you get, when you are coming to the UK, this is what you'll be getting, certificate of sponsorship. So that's what you'll be getting. Now, tier two minimum salary. So those, those the, the minimum salary expectation for someone coming through tier route. So they explain that the need for high LTS. Now in this group, I'm saying do not go and do the high LTS until you know you require it, but start practicing it actively. That you are scoring band seven and above, so that if you need to go and do it, you know that. You are like the chance of you passing it is very high because now most organizations with the new if we have a new 
prime minister in the UK, which may happen in the next week or two, if we have a new prime minister, things might change that they may say countries like Nigeria doesn't have to prove tests of English if they have a level of education. And I will give you an example. I have someone with a third class from one of the university in Nigeria that got into university here with a third class and they didn't have to do high ELTS. It was just the interview that the head of department said, no, I'm going to waive the high ELTS for you. Why should you have to go through that? And they waived it. So, and if you go and do it, it expires after two years. I think it's two years. Maybe if this change, somebody can correct it in the in the chat for me that maybe it's now three years or maybe it's now six months. If, if it's wrong, please correct that for me in the chat so that everybody will know the correct thing. And tell us when you verify that information. If it was this year, as at this year, because I'm given information that I've known a while ago. And then PBS dependent. What is PBS? That is point-based point -based system. The guidance for you to fill that application, that's what is here for you. Then UK visa processing time. So when we get to that stage, you don't need to worry about that until you're getting to that stage. And um, different types of UK visa application. And then how does immigration health surcharge work? So you need to know how that applies to you. When you're coming to the UK, you are asked to pay some health surcharge. I don't know how it applies to those that are coming as skilled workers. So you can begin to read and understand that for yourself when you get to that stage. It's not something you should worry about now. Healthcare resources, all the resources you need to do your healthcare are here. And I'll come back to this job opportunity. I'll go to the free learning. The free learning has a lot of information about free learning that you can be using to develop yourself. And what I've done, so if you, are, if you know that you're struggling with computer, so that's digital literacy, I have put asterisk in the one that you should all try and do. So I've put asterisk there. All of these things will help you to be able to work effectively. Developing meta skills, I've also put asterisk. These are skills that will help you to work effectively. So I put asterisk in the one that I feel that you should do, that you must do. You should, you must make attempt to accept. You know that you are already above that, and you know that your your competency is above what they are doing. Then the last one, which is career development courses as well. These are things that you should also do because you will need to deal with them. Business writing, for example, all your application will be, will be done as business writing. So you should do all of this one just to unless what you already know. Okay, so I just go back. So that is the free learning resources. Now find a job in UK. This is where you can go to find, this is NHS job. This is NHS Scotland. For those of you that would like, I, I am based in Scotland. As of this month, I'm based in Edinburgh, but I will be moving back to Aberdeen, where my wife is with the new job that I've got. So we have a home in Edinburgh, and we also have a home in Aberdeen. But I'll be moving back to Aberdeen permanently, and I'm no longer going to reside in Edinburgh because of my new role hopefully by end of, but we will still have a home here. So for those of you that want to come to Scotland, the NHS in Scotland is different from the NHS in, in, the, in England, Wales. England and Wales, they, they use the same, I think, no, I think, I, I think Wales may have their own. There are four countries in the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And when you are talking of Britain, you are talking about Scotland, England, and Wales. So when you are talking about Great Britain and Northern Ireland, that's when you are talking about the UK, the United Kingdom. But they are all four different countries. So this one is for England. I don't know if Wales is there. I'm not very sure. And these are places that track job is where you can go to and find 
the health job that you want. So these are places that you can go to. But I don't think they are your priorities now until you've done all the skills, all the things that you need to do. The healthcare resources. So I didn't click on that. So these are the resources recommended, the practice test, the care certificates. So this is this is where all the care certificates are. You can do it through Florence Skills Care. So all the courses are here. So the, the, the free one, and some of you may prefer to go and do the paid one if you want to, but there are two free ones and they are on top and they all have some of the costs you may not find in one, you'll find it in the other, but you will find all the 15 in one of the two. So that's where you'll be going to do the courses. So that is everything that I would like to show you on the website to help you.